Cancers, this is your first of the month reading from November the 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is having a good start to their month. If this was made with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't check your moon and rising, you could be in the energy as well. Just a reminder, these are general reads, so just take what resonates and just leave the rest. Okay. Okay, Cancer, right off the bat. Um, so there is this kind of unhappy family card or kind of sadness that comes associated with the family. Some kind of loss or heartbreak here. Um, maybe this could be um, s uh, with family that you can kind of, um, someone they consider as your family. Um, this could be your blood related family. Um, maybe there's situations going on that uh, with that right now. Um, or it just could be your work family, whatever kind of uh, family environment this is here. It just kind of seems like there's a little bit of pain or loss involved with that um, here. It, it, we also have the King of Wands, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, um, or there could be some kind of uh, person that you're dealing with that has a little bit of an anger issue or, um, or some kind of anger here. Um, could have been someone that, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting, I'm trying to get this for cancer, please feeling hostile um yeah i'm just kind of getting this again this this hostile kind of energy a little bit um but there, there is just pain with this kind of family disconnect um whatever it is or whoever it kind of is um with there we're just kind of uh, feeling that pain that soul this week with it yeah sadness I'm sorry, Cancer. It seems like you're kind of having an emotional kind of two weeks here. Um, with the Five of Cups, when it pops out like that, it does mean we're kind of really focusing on the negative. Um, as we see here with the Five of Cups card, there is two cups standing in the background as well. Um, so even though if things have fallen over, things haven't really worked out, just know um, that those two cups are still standing. There's still um, some good things that are in here or some good things in your life as well. I know we tend to focus kind of on the negative things, but we really need to just kind of look at the positives here um and 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 then see and see that in our life but honestly i am going to say that it just just seems like um it's just going through a rough patch right now so i am sorry um that you're feeling that way or going through that um i'm here for you let me give you a big hug for cancer please Maybe dealing with the Pisces here as well. Moon energy, okay. This um could be dealing with the Pisces as well, but it just kind of seems like there's gonna be this clear choice here. Um the moon is called uh, all about kind of uh, illusions, um the darker darker side of stuff, our inner darkness. Um it kind of illuminates those kind of the shadow part of ourselves can deal with kind of delusion secrets lies things like that in here as well um so you might be making a clear choice about either a pisces or making a clear choice um here about some of um some shadow work that you're kind of doing um or some things that have maybe been um not really truthful a little bit delusional here um again you're kind of going to be making a clear choice on that um Queen of Cups popping out energy here. Nurturing. I call the Queen of Cups, she's like the mother. You know, it's like that nurturing, coddling, loving mother. The thing about the Queen of Cups is she um, knows that she will kind of take care of herself there. She knows what she deserves. Um, she knows that, um, you know, how to self-soothe herself. So this could be you, Cancer, where um, you are kind of moving into the space to take care of yourself, nurture yourself here, um, bring yourself back up, be that calling mother that you kind of need, especially if there is a little bit of a weird family dynamic right now. Um, seems like, again, you're going to kind of um, soothe yourself here, call yourself here. If it's not someone else, uh, it could be another water sign, or sorry, if it's not you, Cancer, it could be um, another water sign that's here to help you out. Um, someone here that's taking care of you, um, someone that's kind of bringing in that kind of motherly and maybe um, feminine energy for you. Um, here to just emotionally kind of support you kind of through this uh, here. For cancers, please.
Terry is coming out in reverse, which is a Cancer card. Um, it's saying that things are not, maybe you're not uh, moving, progressing over this as fast as you would like to, um, moving on from this and not um, really kind of feeling a little bit stuck um, in the energy here. Maybe this is something, some pain that you've been kind of dealing with for a bit now and you feel like it's kind of not getting better. Um, it's not really, um, I don't know, fixing itself. It's still feeling like kind of stagnant energy here. Um, we're not moving kind of forward or moving past it. It is feeling in a way that um, trust. It is feeling that it, it's just it's just meant to be as it is right now. It's just meant to kind of you're meant to kind of be in this energy. It's kind of how we kind of heal um, from this stuff. Um, you're not distancing yourself away from it. You're not um, doing other things to kind of avoid this pain here. You're kind of living in it right now. Um, but that's the only way to kind of deal with it. That's the only way that we can um, be true to our emotions here is just experiencing them and letting them happen. We do have the Knight of Wands after here as well, which means like some of you might, there might be a, a lover situation or some kind of fire sign entering your life. It's weird because we have the King of Wands here in reverse. The Knight of um, Wands can usually mean the passionate new beginning um, here. So maybe a creative new beginning or someone that's coming in to bring a little bit of passion into your life. Maybe some of you have a new lover. Um, maybe some of you are just kind of getting creative here and kind of using, I don't know, maybe some of you are artists and kind of using whatever emotions or pain this is right now. But it seems like this Knight of Wands here coming in, it might be someone um, coming in to, to bring a little bit of spice into your life. Let me just see what this Knight of Wands, this fire sign. Who is this Knight of Wands here for Cancer? Page of Pentacles reverse. This person might be from the past, um, resurfacing them, uh, resurfacing here. I've got fire sign energy. I have Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so they could be an earth sign here as well. Um, something that was kind of unstable that's, uh, um, before, something that was um, maybe they were <laughs> unstable. Uh, don't shoot the messenger here, everyone, okay? Um, just, just some instability with this person who maybe you have, have a great um, passionate connection with, but everything else is kind of like, it's like mm, it wasn't something stable or it wasn't something um, here. So, but now we are kind of um, trusting maybe the, the um, trusting ourselves or trusting kind of um, that this person kind of maybe needs to be left in the past or something here about trusting um, trusting that we've kind of made the right decision in the past here. Because of the Six of Cups is kind of reversed here, it is stating um, that we're kind of stuck in the past with this a little bit. Um, here, we're kind of not uh, fully over it, so it might feel like the past is kind of repeating itself um, in a way. But now I feel like, again, I feel like we are trusting um, we made the right decision. We're trusting kind of um, things kind of moving forward here. Um, trusting that, um, you know, we are different from this person who we were when the Six of Cups was kind of in reverse before. Um, we are now kind of... Um, we have, we're, we're now grown. We're now kind of someone else here. Okay, Cancer. Yeah, seems like X energy um, or kind of breakup energy happening for you in these two weeks. We have unhappy family card and two of cups reverse. Again, just seems like breakup energy. So this could be your X. Um, that's kind of popping back in here. Um, or this could be um, uh, any kind of ex friendship, ex partnership. Again, it just feels like I would just be cautious. It just feels like a little bit. This person is a little bit on. Um, is not here to look for stability. Is looking more kind of on the sex drive. So just be cautious about that, okay? Um, especially if you are at a time right now where you're really emotionally vulnerable. Um, kind of step up a little bit and and and. Um, Take care of yourself, right? Not for yourself here. For cancers, please. Judgment, yeah. Seeing, you know, it's it's seeing if um, we've learned our lesson. We're seeing if, you know, I don't know what it's feeling like, but it's feeling like almost... I don't know why I'm 
kind of getting emotional. Maybe I'm just connecting to emotion. But it's kind of feeling like I'm not who I was. And this is kind of the universe bringing in uh, like a look, kind of a little test for you in a way. Not like fully it's testing you, but it's like seeing, it's like, okay, you know, have we have have the ground, have they learned this lesson? Are they still going to maybe let this person or let this energy kind of control them here or um, kind of weasel back into their life? Um, right? It's, it, it, it's a judgment on your kind of evolution and kind of where you're at in these situations. Because there is kind of some kind of major lesson from all of this. And this is kind of a major, I think, point for you right now to evolve kind of as a human being. An evolve of, um, I'm getting the words not people pleasing um, and standing ground. Um, putting up personal boundaries. All right, Cancer, there you go. Um, again, so just judge some time on that, okay? So seeing, seeing if, you know, we're not gonna let the sadness, um, whatever it is, kind of take over um, and let kind of people walk all over us, right? I have um, the Emperor in reverse, so maybe you're dealing with an Aries as well, or an Aries, this person is an Aries that's resurfacing, um, but the Emperor kind of reverse is all about things that are um, <clears throat> it's kind of like thing, when things are kind of out of order, or things are kind of out of structure here, um, kind of can be kind of chaos energy here as well. So maybe you're just feeling like a lot of things are really chaotic right now. Um, so kind of prioritize your peace, prioritize um, things that uh, make you feel kind of um, stable and kind of grounded here. Because again, the Emperor in Reverse can um, mean, again, someone with anger issues can kind of mean disorder, kind of chaos kind of energy, chaotic energy. So again, you might feel like things are kind of chaotic right now, but um, do the things that make you find peace and instability in, okay? Do not doubt because you're going in this energy right now, um, that you're feeling this energy right now, that things are not going to kind of work out for you here, or that you will never get where you want to be, or your happiness in life here. You're trying to, um, you're, you're trying to, it feels like control fate in a way. You're trying to control, um, control this chaos. I almost see like trying to contain this kind of ball of energy here, but sometimes you just gotta let shit fly and, and things happen in the way that kind of life is going here. Because it seems like there is just so much doubt in this almost like um, failure or this thing that didn't work out that you have no like almost drive to kind of go after the things you want or feel like things will manifest for you um, in the future here or um, feel kind of that you are abundant or good things will happen to you. I was just gonna say this cancer, you need to knock that shit out right now there is i'm i'm putting on this kind of clear message here get out of that headspace get out of there right now and move into the other direction because that is going to add no good to this whatever the sadness is and whatever this kind of um thing we're healing here whatever we're healing from this kind of idea that n um, nothing's going to feel good anymore and, uh, my dreams are not going to come true this kind of negative self-talk that we're having to ourselves cut it out right now um and i'm drawing the line and i'm being putting the line down here none of that um you kind of got to be you got to be kind of um you know a rock in a tsunami you know that just sits there and it's just grounded and things might be going chaotic and things around you but you know you just gotta stay strong and stay solid the best you kind of can um here uh, allow yourself to feel the emotions yes but get out of that negative headspace um don't do it I'm not here. I'm not going to let you. No, things will work out for you. Maybe it's not working out on the timeline that you wanted, but things will work out for you. You are abundant. Good things are coming your way. This just might be a little blimp right now in life that kind of um, isn't feeling so great. But you know, life can't always be up. Life is up and down and up and down. And we go through stages. You know, we go through cycles here. You're just kind of at a healing stage now with the Four of Swords. 
you know, we're, we're healing kind of our energy here. We're taking the time to um, get better, to, to uh, work ourselves back up. Um, okay, that's just the stage we're in. And that's just kind of the honesty of it, you know? Just uh, take some time, balance out those energies, okay? Um, temperance and reverse here, you know? Fill our own cup first. That's the most important part. Do things that are good for you, that get your energy balanced, whatever that is. Going for a run, meditating, um, cooking a nice dinner, um, um, you know, chatting with friends on the phone, whatever it is that makes you feel uh, at peace, that makes your energy um, become stable again. That's kind of what we need to do here. We need to kind of prioritize that. Don't put up, prioritize this night of wands. Get that person... Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Everyone has free will to do what they want, but get them out of there. This person, I don't know, just seems like some stuck energy. Like, this person just doesn't seem like the stable energy that you need right now. Okay? For Cancers, please. Cancers, please. Energy Oracle card you got was the world. Which is 29. The man in this picture is looking out over the bay, above which a beautiful sphere of earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and to contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding a more global network through the internet or social media. Drawing this card could also let you know that you have unlimited resources available to you, and now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. My life expands into boundless horizons with unlimited powerful energy. The world of possibilities is open to me now. Again, just because all these other doors are shutting or all these other things are maybe not working out the way you want it for does not mean that your options are limited here. Um, they're saying there's a whole kind of world out there to be explored, to be discovered um, for new relationships, new jobs, new things to kind of come in for you here that will change kind of your reality. So stop thinking so small and kind of open it a little bit big. Big here, you never know. Your day can change, you, you may, your life could change tomorrow. You don't know, you know? So stop thinking that it won't or that it won't happen or, you know, limiting your view or see your life as limited or this is not for me or things won't work out for me or, like I said before, none of that. I'm being mean today with cancer. Sorry, cancer, but I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm being tough. Okay, we have the great severing. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. This is a shadow card, one that may feel confrontational, but don't be afraid. It's here to bring to the surface anything that's standing in the way of letting love in. The warring planet of Mars is our constant reminder and that it's important to soften, forgive, and find your way back to love. There are many things in the human experience that can make it difficult for our heart and soul to stay open to the never-ending source of love. We are all wounded and our con unconscious wounds inflict wounds on others. It can feel like a never-ending dance that we can never escape. If we aren't careful, before long, we will see the world as a scary, dangerous place where fear and anxiety roam free. This card surfaces, it uh, could be for two reasons. Firstly, for you to acknowledge the difficult emotions, situations, conflicts, wounds, fears that are causing you pain and anxiety, right? Secondly, is to find your way back to love. When we're hurt, it's normal to close off our heart to the world to let the painful experience confirm the agony of separation and earthly life. Soften and find your way back to love anyways. When fear, anxiety, and paranoia paralyze you, it's normal want to hide away from others in the world. Come out of your cave and open your and soften your heart anyway. We're all innocent children spinning our way around the world. Find a way to see the innocence of all people involved, especially yourself. You know, how are you cutting yourself off from love? How can you soften towards those who have hurt you? All right, Cancer. Tense emotions. These two weeks. You got this. I love you. Don't let that fuck boy back in your life. Take care.